What if I told you that the reason you can't focus isn't because you're lazy, it's because you've been trapping yourself in the wrong cage. I locked myself into one single task for 48 hours straight, and what happened to my brain, even I wasn't prepared for it. Look, everyone says, I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow becomes next week. Next week becomes never. But here's what neuroscience actually reveals. Your brain isn't broken. You've just been playing the wrong game. And I'm about to show you how to activate what I call genius mode. And no, it's not what you think. Let's start with what's actually happening in your brain when you lose interest. Your brain runs on a neurotransmitter called dopamine. It's not the pleasure chemical, it's the anticipation chemical. Every time you check your phone, you get a micro hit. Every time you switch tabs, another hit. Your brain becomes a dopamine junkie and real work can't compete. Here's the uncomfortable truth. Your brain is comparing everything. Scrolling Instagram, dopamine every three seconds. Working on your project, dopamine every three hours. Your brain does the math, it's not even close. The fix, you need to resensitize your dopamine system. Take a dopamine fast. One day a week, cut out social media, Netflix, junk food your brain will recalibrate what rewarding means. Suddenly, making progress on your work feels amazing again. The science is clear. Passion isn't something you find. It's something you create by managing your neurochemistry. Here's something they don't teach you in school. Starting is harder than continuing. Neuroscientist Andrew Huberman calls this the activation energy barrier. The first five minutes of any task requires massive mental energy. Once you're in, your brain shifts into a different mode. The anterior cingulate cortex stops fighting you. The three-second rule and why it's powerful. When you think about doing something, count backwards. Three, two, one, go. This interrupts the pattern of overthinking. Mel Robbins discovered this accidentally and it's backed by neuroscience. You're hacking your prefrontal cortex before it can talk you out of it. Remove friction like your life depends on it. Want to work out? Sleep in your gym clothes. Want to write? Open your laptop to a blank document the night before. Want to practice guitar? Keep it on a stand, not in a case. Every extra step is an opportunity for your brain to quit. The passion comes after you start, not before. Stop waiting to feel motivated. Most people think they have an attention problem. Wrong. You have an environment problem. Your environment is constantly voting on what you do next. Phone on the disc? That's 3,000 votes for distraction. Notifications on? Your environment is literally attacking your focus. Visible clutter? Your visual cortex is processing every item, draining mental energy. Build what Cal Newport calls deep work chambers. One space equals one type of work. When you sit in that chair, your brain knows it's time to focus. This is classical conditioning, the same principle that made Pavlov's dog salivate. Here's the Ultradian rhythm secret. Your brain operates in 90-minute cycles. Push for 90 minutes of pure focus, then take a 20-minute break. During breaks, no screens, just walking or staring at nothing. This is how elite performers train and how you should work. Use the one tab rule. If you need multiple tabs, you're not ready for work. Close everything except what's essential. Your working memory can only hold four to seven items. Every open tab is stealing cognitive bandwidth. Here's where it gets deep. You can't outperform your self-image. James Clear nailed this. Every action is a vote for the person you want to become. Don't say, I'm trying to write more. Say, I'm a writer. Your brain will create consistency between your identity and your actions. The Ben Franklin effect. Yes, it's real neuroscience. We don't fall in love with things we enjoy. We fall in love with things we invest in. The more effort you put in, the more your brain assigns value to it. This is called effort justification. Create a minimum viable passion. You don't need to love something to start. You need to start to build love. Commit to 30 days of showing up, even for 15 minutes. Watch how your relationship with the work transforms. 
track small wins obsessively. Your brain needs evidence that this matters. Keep a done list, not just a to-do list. Every completed task releases dopamine and reinforces the behavior. This is how you build momentum. The people you admire didn't discover their passion. They built it, brick by brick. Look, giving 100% isn't about superhuman willpower. It's about understanding how your brain actually works and using that knowledge strategically. Recap the formula, reset your dopamine system, use the three second rule to beat activation energy, design your environment for deep work, shift your identity, don't just change your behavior. The science is on your side. Your brain wants to focus. It wants to go deep. You just need to stop sabotaging it. If this clicked for you, hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment with the one thing you're going to implement today. And remember, passion is built, not found. Now, go build yours.